My name is Prakash Narayan and I'm in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and in the Institute for Systems Research. My research and teaching are in the areas of communication theory, information and coding theory, estimation, detection and associated signal processing, and in connections between information theory and statistics. The focus is on information and coding theory for multi-user or network systems for the purposes of inference, data compression, reliable data transmission, and information security. Uh, broadly speaking, I'm interested in understanding fundamental principles and structural properties that govern how multiple terminals that are networked can cooperate in order to communicate, compute, infer, and ensure data security. The networks of interest can be wired or wireless, and principles that emerge from these studies then serve as guidelines for devising associated algorithms. To illustrate the nature of our research, let me describe two current areas of study. First, consider a network with multiple terminals. These terminals can cooperate among themselves using data compression algorithms and channel error correction coding techniques in order to perform uh, different tasks. For instance, to exchange or share data reliably, or to perform a given computational task, or to devise secret keys for encrypted communication. In specific settings of practical relevance, we seek to bring out precise theoretical connections that exist between some of these problems using probabilistic and combinatorial techniques. These connections, in turn, suggest how algorithms for data compression or channel coding that do not involve any security constraints can be transformed to yield methods for secure communication or secure computation or for biometric security and hardware security. A second problem area has grown out of discussions with a colleague on dynamic thermal management for multi-core processor chips. How many thermal sensors should be placed on a chip and where exactly in order to obtain good temperature estimates across the entire chip from a few measurements? Such temperature estimates are crucial for managing the scheduling of tasks on the processor cores, avoiding thermal hotspots. This initial motivation has led to a project that involves a general investigation of statistical inference on a random field. Given a random field model, in order to estimate field parameters with a given level of accuracy, how many field measurements are needed? Where should the sensors be placed in relation to the underlying field distribution? With what precision should the sensor measurements be used in an estimation algorithm? What are suitable estimation techniques? In effect, this study uh, examines basic trade-offs between sensor placement, density, complexity, and the choice of estimation techniques. It involves ideas from rate distortion theory in information theory, estimation and detection from limited measurements, and signal processing. And in general, these are the kinds of questions that drive me, my students, and my research collaborators. Answers to these questions are not only of theoretical interest, but have practical engineering applications as well.